He's so adorable. My god. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. I've leveled everybody up to 45, just a little bit, push them up, push them up, push them up. I'm gonna need to be at least like level 60-ish to uh, get all the way through the Elite Four. So we'll go down to Route 2, or whatever it is, and through Victory Road. Oh, that's right, I can do this. There's a guy over there. I could also surf, but I think maybe this is faster or something. I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream, and I learned how to eat dreams. Oh, this is too spooky. Let me teach it to a Pokemon so I can forget about it. Eh, eh whatever. I ain't gonna do it. I don't have anybody with hypnosis anyways. And this is where we found our Misdreavus back in the day. Oh, all those, all those months ago, I suppose. Alright, Dragonite's in the lead. I think that'll work. And here comes Sun. I've been seeing a lot of your face. What? Dayton? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Dayton, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on. You think you're gonna whip me, bro? You gotta pay. <laughs> you must pay! Rival Sun has a full team. Oh, and there's that Arbok, level 47. Holy poop. Holy poop balls. And he gets the Intimidate on my Dragonite, which should be okay because I plan to just, uh, Dragon Rage the shit out of it. And we'll see what it does. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, lackluster, unfortunately. Losing some of its oomph, but now that he's stockpiling, uh, I might as well finish it off. It's only gonna take three. Oh, but he swallows his stockpile. So, uh, we'll try out Twister and see how that does compared to Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage was about a quarter. Twister's about the same. So yeah, we can get rid of Dragon Rage, I suppose. I would really like to have a move that replaces it, um, but I guess Twister will work. We can use it super effectively on like all Lance's Pokemon. So we didn't do too bad against that Arbok. Didn't take that much damage, no status. He has a Hypno. Hmm, well, I think Acorns shall enjoy playing with your Hypno. Yes. You remember this thing, son? It's a little tiny Nuzleaf. And now he's so gigantic and terrifying. Boosh, fake out. I should have probably not evolved him as quick as I did because I don't know if he can learn any other moves now, but he's serving his purpose relatively well. I think there's a psychic type uh, Elite Four member, the first one. So Acorn's definitely gonna do his work. And he dodges the poison gas. Good boy! That's how we like it, yeah! Ah, oh, so we take that Hypno down. Not even a scratch on little Acorn. Doing what he does best. Oh, yeah. Eat that XP up. And here comes the Hitmonchan, which is why Crobat is here. So go do your thing, Crobat! Crush him under your boot heel! And we'll be halfway through his team at that point. Oh, level 53. Holy balls! Well, I think it'll be just fine. We can wing attack it hard. Does he have Ice Punch or Thunder Punch? He has Mega Punch. Which should hurt, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll live. And we are fast as fuck because Crobat, so we'll be able to bag it. Bag it up. Not much damage there either. Wonderful! Doing so good, you guys! I'm so proud! Uh, there's a Shuckle. I think Fuck Yeah knows what to do with that. It is a rock bug, so we will proceed to drown it. Um, its defenses are really high, but its HP is really low. It would be a good candidate for Dragon Rage as well. Um, but yeah, whatever. Sea King's in here. We'll just get the Surf going. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not great. I thought it was going to be a two-hit KO, but it looks like it's going to be three. I think Dragon Rage would have been a two-hit KO. Doesn't really matter. He hits the bide way, way too late, <laughs> and uh, he's wiped out, which is nice. His team seems um, solid, but not too solid. We're breaking it down relatively well, and a Victor Bell waiting in the wings. Come Do your thing! Here it comes, Arcanine the Bruiser. Oh my god. You weren't even ready, kid. 
Burn! Well done. That does a nice chunk. They are the same level. He gets the sleep powder, which sucks. Um, but it's okay. We'll let him, let him do what he's gonna do. I don't think he has anything that's gonna really devastate me. Yeah, Razor Leaf is like, not effective <laughs> against Arcanine. So he'll just uh, nap through it still, which, come on, come on, wake up little buddy. He's never gonna see it coming. Arcanine's gonna wake up, he's gonna fuck you so hot. That's what he does. That's the Arcanine. Go on. Nope, it's gonna take five turns of sleep. I should have just used the Poke Flute. But, uh, we're having a nice little break. Little break, hmm. I've been Pokemoning all day. Here comes the Ember. Wipes out the Victorel. Awesome. Fantastic. He's got one more Pokemon. We haven't lost anybody at all. And <laughs> this last Pokemon's a Kakuna. Oh! Where'd you get that? Level 45 Kakuna. My god. I'm sure it could have been randomized into something uh, much better. Perhaps next time I do a randomizer, I will keep uh, similar evolutions. There's a checkbox for that. What? I was just careless. You? No, I got you, brah. Because you brought your Kakuna. <laughs> that loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Dayton, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. Ugh. What a dick. What a dick, dude. Don't talk to me like that, dude. Like a dick. Oh, here we are. We're going to the Pokemon League. Oh, that's the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. Hooray! Whoa. Whoa. You can pass here if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that's the Cascade Badge. Okay, please go right ahead. Wonderful. You can pass here if you have the Thunder Badge. Man, remember beating the shit out of Lieutenant Surge? That was a good time. And then we went down to Celadon City, got another Eevee, got the Rainbow Badge. Ah, oh, that was so good. Oh, and then they want you to surf. Interesting. Can I catch a Pokemon here? Oh, nope. Soul Badge, Koga. We caught and lost Albi there. <laughs> oh, what a shame that was, huh? I don't think I should have gotten off of Fuck Yeah. Well, we beat up our rival's Pokemon level 53. Maybe if we can type match. Marsh Badge! Sabrina, we walked right through her gym. I think there are supposed to be a lot more battles than that. Oh my god. A Medicham meets us. Well? Okay. You wanna come along? Come along then. <laughs> Get on the train! Medicham does have huge power as its ability, which is super, super crazy. It boosts his attack to crazy heights. I'm gonna use Dragon Rage just because it does a set amount of damage, and we're not gonna be able to use two of those. So I'll just chuck a Pokeball at it. We'll see how it goes. I didn't expect to find a Pokemon here at all. I probably should buy some more Pokeballs, but we're almost to the end, which is why I haven't. You have that Master Ball, uh, if we do see something that I'm like, holy crap, have to have, but I probably will never use it. It'll probably just sit in the bag because it's, it's a mental thing. I have a mental block about it. We got two shakes on that great ball, but uh, he broke out. Little bastard, come with us, dude. You're gonna love it. Yeah! A male Metacham. Awesome. Woohoo! And that's more data for the Pokedex. It elegantly avoids attacks with dance-like steps, then launches a devastating blow in the same motion. Awesome. My Medicham's nickname is Kevin. <laughs> That's a person named Dayton. You're right, it is. Oh, why is he going to the dead box? I was shuffling stuff around. Party poop. Oh, they used more stuff, but we can't catch it. We already caught our Medicham, and that is great because <laughs> Spoik is not very impressive. Interesting, we can come out here to train, though, uh, when I do my grinding. Pass here only if you have the Volcano Badge. Yes. Beating Blaine into a pulp. It was a piece of cake. He was like, here's some trivia. And I was like, yeah, son. I've been playing Pokemon since I was seven years old, kid. <laughs> Earth Badge. 
Giovanni, he was also a punk. We walked right through his gym. And finally, we are in Victory Road. Oh my. Do I have repels? I don't really want to uh, try and catch a Pokemon here until I have more Pokeballs. But I don't think I have that many freaking repels either. Three, two, damn it. Only two, and now I have one. So let's make it count. Oh, we've screwed it up already. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Gotta go the other way. Oh, this is a high-level Pokemon. Oh, and it's a Porygon! Alright, our Pokemon for Victory Road is a Porygon too. That's pretty nice. Inner focus. Alright. Uh, let's get it paralyzed first. Hope it doesn't have some nasty move to come out of me with. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. He's got a berry. He got a berry? Cherry berry. Damn it. Fine. We'll do it again. And Dragon Rage should not do, like, a ton of damage, so we'll be able to whittle it down in a reasonable manner. Uh, I really worry about Pokeballs. You know what? Fuck it. This is the one. This is the one, dude. He broke through the repel. He's level 46, and he's terrifying. He's hurting my Dragonite. We need a, a, a normal type. We don't need one, but it's been a theme for the team. Fuck it. You go in the Master Ball, Porygon. You're awesome, and we love you, and now you're part of the team. Ho oh, ho! Oh, Woohoo! Hee hee! Ah, delightful. Wonderful! Yes! Awesome! Further research enhanced its abilities. Sometimes it may exhibit motions that were not programmed. So it learns! Nickname Quackers is my Porygon, too. And we gotta move him and Metacham out of the dead box, uh, but that'll have to wait. Until we get there. Till we get there on the road to Victory Road City. What is this? What the fuck? Oh, it's blocking that part of the path, so I have to push this boulder all the way over there, I suppose. Who had strength? Oh, fucking Arbok. And Arbok's dead. Ugh. That's fine. Somewhere in my TM case, I've got another strength, and that's that's gonna be just great. Oh my god, are we ever gonna make it through here? Use acid, albino. We'll use it on Khan. He needs to pull his weight, that's right. We'll delete a move. I think he has, like, odor sleuth or some weird shit. Yeah, get rid of that. Roar is actually kind of useful if we could get somebody with entry hazards. Um... But yeah, strength will do. Nice and neutral damage. And if he's, if if it's a ghost, uh, Khan also has bite. So some some decent coverage there. Strength it up, little buddy. Hooray! We're gonna push this shit, push this shit, push this shit around. And then go down. Do not exit because it <laughs> would be fucking tragic. And then I've gotta like push it up. Up to Okay. How you like that? And then the little ridge in the ground goes down. My goodness, this is this is quite a place, isn't it? And there's a cool trainer. Cool trainer We'll lead with Acorn. He's been doing the most work out of everyone. I really do want those Pokeballs too. But I think it's gonna force me to pick one. Let's go pick one! Uh, yeah. I basically have to shove it into one of those. I could go out and exit the cave, but I won't. I just want that that far one. Soda pop. <laughs> Made the wrong choice. Made the wrong choice! Let's kick this lady's ass. wonder if you're good enough for me. What? Skipped a couple steps there. Cool trainer Naomi. She is cool. She's got an Espeon. Holy crap. But guess what? I got a shift tree. Dark type. Dark type. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gotta flinch to start. And then feign attack. I don't think he's gonna be able to stand up to even one of those. 
Although maybe I overestimate. Yeah, just a little bit. That's all right. We gonna get there. SP on special attack is pretty freaking good. Oh, here comes the hyper potion. Should have gone for mega kick. Mega kick. It doesn't fail half as often as I would expect it to. But maybe that's because I expect it to fail a lot. <laughs> so, is the Hyper Potion going to save it? Nope. Doesn't buy it another turn. Goes down to Awesome Acorn. He's been here too long, bro. He's got EVs and all kinds of shit. He's got a Sand True. Uh, we'll go to Fuck Yeah. I was going to go to use Acid uh, for Giga Drain. But we only have five of those, whereas Surf is something that we can spam just about endlessly. So, go for it. Not endlessly, it's only 15. I thought it was way higher, like 30. But still, it's gonna be fine. We only need one. Goodbye, Sandshrew. He's so adorable. My god. Have I done the cutest Pokemon yet? I don't think I have. Sandshrew's gonna be on that list for sure. We got an Electabuzz. Uh, we gotta get Fuck Yeah out of there. I will switch into Acorn. Acorn, the leader of the team. You thought it was Albi, but it's not. I mean, he, he's got the fucking tenure. What do you want? He's been here for so fucking long, and he's never leaving. <laughs> he dodges every attack. They're like, poison gas. He's like, nah, not today. I don't think so. We do need to replace that Mega Kick. Um, I don't know. I want an attack that hits all the time. Faint attack is what I'm talking about. Go for it, Mega Kick. But Mega Kick just hits so hard that it's hard not to love the shit out of it. <laughs> when it does hit, it counts. Counts big time. A Poochina is not really a scary thing. We'll send in the Batman. He can deal with the dogs. I've got a suit that deals with dogs. I think there was something in the Dark Knight about that. Um, so here it comes. I don't think it's gonna do much to me. I, I, I don't know, 42 Poochie, you know? Maybe it has Crunch or some shit like that. We gotta be a little more careful, especially because Batman's low on HP. Uh, he's got a Sableye. That'll be fine. We'll go into Sea King. We do have Hyper Potions. I will probably break those out at some point just to uh, make sure we get through Victory Road in one go. Guess who wants to go back through the badge gates? What the fuck? <laughs> I want to be able to fly to Victory Road when I please, like a true champion trainer. I wonder how many people are a actually able to do that. What percentage of the Pokemon Universe population <laughs> has even seen Victory Road? Because a lot of them just hang out in towns, don't they? They're like, eh, whatever. Or did they all go on the journey as a kid and they've all been to Victory Road and shit? I don't know. I have a lot of pokey questions. <laughs> All right, so there's the edge of that rock. Oh, and another cool trainer. What are you doing, bro? I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. I don't know if you want to. <laughs> I'm going to flatten you, Rolando. Rolando! He's got a Crawdon. That's a pretty scary thing. But I think Acorn's going to be able to deal with it. Uh, he's a Water Dark. I'm a Grass Dark. So, yeah, fake out doesn't do much, and I used it again. What a derp. Uh-oh. I hope he doesn't do... Okay. I thought he was gonna do, like, X-Scissor or some crazy shit like that. We will go for the Mega Kick. Mega Kick! There you go. Super! Super Kick! Yeah! Crab Hammer is water type, I think, so we'll be okay. It does hit for a lot, though. <laughs> if it's a neutral hit, even, it it's scary. He goes for the Hyper Potion. Ugh. They are gonna wear me down, uh, move-wise. I don't know if I can get to the end of Victory Road because I have such low PP on all of my moves. But Mega Kick's able to take it out with the, uh, the second time, and it did hit again. Which is so nice. So nice. And, uh, level 46 for Little Acorn, because he's been leading the team. His defenses seem paper thin, but, uh... I don't know, they seem to be getting it done. I guess he's dodgy, or some some shit like that. Fates attack, here it comes. Yaw, trick. Oh my, the Mysterivus comes back to haunt me. I really, really wish we could have gotten one to start our Nuzlocke. That would have been the 
the best. Um, and we would have been able to evolve it into a Miss Magus because I have the thing that edits the code and basically my Porygon 2 can also evolve into Porygon Z if I just level it with an, while it's holding an upgrade because of how the, uh, the ROM has been changed. I don't understand how it works, but I know that it works, <laughs> which is a really nice thing. It's like the internet. Everybody knows how the internet works. It's a series of tubes. There is right on. Surf that shit with my uh, Sea King. I do have a Kyogre. We got all kinds of cool stuff in the box now. I really like how the team is fleshing out. I'm thinking we're going to be able to do this thing because I've been playing cautiously the entire way through, which is probably the way to go. Uh, he's got a Poliwhirl. I will leave in Sea King because it'll resist his attacks. And I have a Horn attack in order to uh, strike back, which actually does decent damage even at these uh, higher levels because it scales up with the attack stat, unlike Dragon Rage, which is losing its losing its oomph quite quickly. So he hits me with the body slam, that's just fine. No critical, no para, and the horn attack is not quite enough to take him out, unfortunately. I think the rain dance gives him swift swim, so he is moving faster than me now. Ooh, and there's the para. No good, no good. Get that back. Mm-hmm. There goes the Poliwhirl. Wonderfully done. He's got a Clam Pearl. Um, I don't want to abuse Fuck Yeah too much more. We'll send in Batman. Hopefully it doesn't have an ice move or some shit like that. It shouldn't, as far as I recall. It's just mostly water type. And it lacks like significant coverage. And that's why Gorbis and Huntail weren't used in higher tiers of battling for quite a long time until the learned shell smash. Um, yeah, he goes for iron defense. This is not going to be a strategy that works out for him, I think. Unless he uses a hyper potion, and then I'll head desk the shit out of myself. Um, but yeah, we'll just try another wing attack. Yeah, he's going to live because iron defense, but even with plus four, I don't think he's going to be able to live one more. He would need plus six. Plus six could probably do it, but he's not building it that fast. He goes right down, and Batman takes the day from the poor little, the poor little uh, sea creature. I had a chance. No, you didn't. I'm sorry to say. So, friends, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon up. We'll see what lies beyond this ladder in the next episode. I do hope you'll join me for it. I've been Brandon Nathan, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, good goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.